Okay, it's been one year since my son got his pinwheel phone, so I wanted to do a quick review one year later to let you know what I think about it. So, my son has the rugged pinwheel phone, so it's a pretty large phone. My pinwheel plan just renewed for one more year at $176.95. And he has his service through Mint Mobile, and that renewed at $201.77. So the total for the whole year is $378.72, which is about $31 a month. So that's about how much it costs for my son to have his phone. Now that doesn't include the cost of the phone itself. So <clears throat> when you're comparing it with other phones, that's how much it costs, which I think is pretty reasonable. But here's some of my likes about the pinwheel phone. I like that it is a progressive way to teach your children how to manage a phone on their own. So you can have lots of restrictions on the phone at first if they're pretty young, and then you can like take those restrictions down as they get older. And so it's just teaching them how to handle a phone on their own. So I really like that. Um, I like that Pinwheel notifies you if there are updates to certain apps that could be potentially, I guess, questionable for your kids. So for example, I got a no notification that Spotify um, changed their way that their app works and so that they can actually have more access to explicit content if you don't know what you're doing. And so I like that it notified me of that so I can be aware of what's going on with these apps, whereas I wouldn't have known that otherwise. So they keep you up to date on things that a parent would be concerned about. Um, I like that I can read um, his text without actually having to physically have his phone. So I can read his text messages that he's had between his friends um, via the Pinwheel app on my phone or on the desktop. Um, that way I can still see what's going on if I need to, but not having to take his phone away to look at those things. Um, you can be as detailed on a daily schedule or as not as detailed as you want. So when I first set up the Pinwheel phone, I had his schedule listed out really in a lot of detail, like from nine to noon, it's school time, no apps on your phone. From noon to one, you can have these certain apps after 10 o'clock and so forth. And I had it really detailed, which I think was good for the time being. But as he learned the privileges that he gets on his phone, I started taking those schedules away and left it just like on all mode um, and trusted him. So as he gains familiarity with the phone and, and you gain an understanding of what is expected, um, you can change the routine and daily schedule to how you want. Um, I also like that you can see um, the location of where they're at and check and make sure that they're doing okay. And, <clears throat> and I also like that my child can't download their own apps onto their phone. They have to have me do it. Um, which that means we have open communication about what's being downloaded and things like that. So those are some of my likes. I've really enjoyed that with the Pinwheel phone. Some of my dislikes, um, my son wanted to get Venmo. And so we searched for Venmo and that app wasn't available through Pinwheel. Um, since then, it has become made available because I requested, I said, can you look into getting this app? And I don't know if it was just me, but we were able to later get Venmo. So not all apps are available because some apps just aren't appropriate for kids and they do a thorough check on what it would be appropriate for kids. Um, the caregiver pool portal on the app that I have on my phone for Pinwheel and on their desktop um, Pinwheel's website, the caregiver portal is a little bit difficult to navigate in the beginning. like. It took a minute to figure out how to set up a daily routine and a schedule. But once I figured out how to do it, it was fine. So it could probably be a little bit more user friendly, but it's it's manageable. Um, my son, I thought my son's phone was a little too big, the rugged version, um, but he likes it. Um, that was just like pre personal preference, but now they have even more phone options that you can buy. You can get a Google Pixel. They have lots of more phones options that you can buy. So that's pretty awesome. They're, they're constantly trying to improve upon 
what's available and the services they offer, which shows that it's a good company. Another dislike is we have, my husband and I have Google Fi for our cell phone service, and we wanted to sign my son up with onto Google Fi for their phone, for his phone service instead of Mint Mobile, but Google Fi is not offered through Pinwheel, which, I mean, it would be nice if we were all on the same plan, but we aren't, and it was fine, and Mint Mobile has been great for what he needs, and I haven't had any complaints, and it's been pretty affordable, so, um, <clears throat> so that's been good. So those are the things that I've disliked. Overall, I'm going to continue using Pinwell. So I think that tells you that it has been a good service and it's provided me a lot of peace of mind as a parent, knowing that I can progressively help my child learn how to manage internet and apps and responsibilities that phones require. Um, some people might say I'm like an overly protective parent, but um, anyone, any parent with teenagers knows that social media, unlimited access to data in the internet is not good for a growing and maturing 13 year old mind. It's just, um, they need to learn how to manage it now before they ha are on their own so that they can be more independent and successful adults. So I'm grateful that Penwell is out there for parents who want their children to succeed. So I would highly recommend it. If you want a discount for a pinwheel phone, you can look at the link in the description and um, I hope the best of luck. Thanks.